bloom or a sight to behold each spring in Texas, and the sight behind us is especially pretty. No okay. kidding. It doesn't get much prettier than that. Roses blooming out there today, I bet. But more about this uh, unusual kind of color that they're taking right now yeah. could be a sign of a virus that's killing rose bushes in Fort Worth and across North Texas, really. Our Fort Worth-based reporter, Chris Van Horn, has more. Across North Texas, you don't have to look hard to find Earth-kind roses. In homeowners' yards, on medians, they're everywhere. But look close enough and you can see some are dying. Oh, that's the classic uh, symptom right there. At Archie's Garden Land in West Fort Worth, they get calls and questions all the time about what's called Rose Rosette, a viral disease carried by mites that's becoming more prevalent. And we are seeing more cases of it around and on all the different rose varieties. It's not just homes and businesses, even the Fort Worth Botanic Gardens Rose Garden is not immune. Workers have already replaced some of the bushes, but say they'll have to replace even more once wedding season comes to an end. There's a cluster there. And that one there. Steve Huddleston is the senior horticulturalist at the Botanic Garden. He says the disease first popped up in the Metroplex three or four years ago. It's been a problem for us in our garden for the past two or three years. We've lost many roses to this, to this disease. That's because once a plant is infected, there's nothing you can do. Pruning it back does not get rid of the disease. You have to dig it up and get rid of it, roots and all. The mites are invisible, so only when excess of thorns and what's called witch's broom show up will you really know but you can prevent the spread if you plant ahead. The mites can't blow from plant to plant, so try not to plant your roses too close together. Experts say it is a manageable situation that shouldn't stop you from smelling or planting the roses. We love our roses, and there's no reason not to plant roses. In Fort Worth, Chris Van Horn, NBC5. The experts tell Chris it's important to remove infected bushes so they don't become a mite breeding ground, and when removing the infected plant, be sure to trash it. Don't compost it.